What's good, guys? It's your girl, She Hustle, and welcome back to the Hustle Tea page. And today is the first day of Hustleween. We are going to get into this Pennywise with the Deadlight makeup tutorial. I worked super hard on this for you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, so this look is great for parties, scare the crap out of people. I've seen this makeup tutorial done a lot in the last couple of years, especially with the movies. I've never seen it done with the Deadlight, so we are going to give that a try. I'm going to show you how I made this happen. Um, but yeah, before we get too deep into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Be sure to hit that like button if you like what you see and tap that bell so you'll be notified every time I post. Just make me feel good one time, you know, help your girl out, help me feel a little good, a little good about myself, you know, come on back. And yeah, so let's get into this video. Um, first things first, every makeup tutorial I've ever seen has told me to do this when it comes to makeup videos like this. Um, you block out your eyebrows. That is a simple, the one dollar I believe it was, Elmer's uh, children's glue stick. It's like a glazed purple, but either way, use your little spoolie. Um, I bought this from my hair store for maybe like a dollar, I think, uh, just to push my eyebrows up and uh, lay them down as flat as I can get them. Um, after that, I went in with my Makeup Murder Paint Chips Palette eyeshadow in the color Bath, along with some Wet n Wild Mattifying pow Powder that I found at my hair store called Take On The Day. Um, those two things helped me really lay the eyebrows down and set them down flat so that you wouldn't see them under my makeup. Um, don't mind me, I'm just singing the end of the Friends theme song. I was watching about 20-something episodes of Friends while I was doing this. It was hilarious. Um, but yeah, so just taking that same mattifying powder, brushing it into my brows, getting them nice and flat. And then we're going to move on to putting on that makeup. I was just really enjoying how weird my eyebrows look like this. So <laughs> don't mind me. It was also really late. I was sleepy. I was being super goofy. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of makeup on my face. And if you could tell, I wiped off some on the side right there. I was moving too fast. I forgot that I had prosthetics to put on. But either way, so on my lips, I went in with that same Makeup Murder palette in the color Minivan. It's a red color. I wanted to block out the lips. Um, I was going off of these pictures. I saw a toy review for the Pennywise. Who would want this as a nightlight? Like, seriously. But <laughs> it made me think, like, huh, that would be a good thing to try. I've never seen this done. And I did some Google searches. Um, but either way, I took my Wet n Wild paint palette in the color Smoky Charbonneau. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'll link it down below. Um, but I took the dark red. It's kind of like a blood red. And then they have a little one that's a little bit brighter. It's a little closer to a purple. Or like a burgundy and I took those two colors and started to scope out the area that would be the open cavern of the mouth um, the prosthetic is gonna go on my top lip um, and I had actually the day before been working on some prosthetics it took me a few hours to put them together but I let them dry overnight um, there was a top jaw and a bottom jaw so in my mind, I'm just trying to scope out where the openness of the mouth would be. Um, this entire area that we are painting is going to be heavily covered. The grease paint actually helps the powdered pigment and eyeshadows that you use later stick a little bit better. Um, but we'll get into that later. So I just kept ovaling it out, trying to scope out what would be a mouth large mouth um i didn't do any measuring so i kind of guesstimated if you want a little bit more of an accurate result you know you might want to scope this out beforehand um maybe take a white eyeliner and outline this area because that's easy to wipe away but like i said i was i was going off of the thought process of the prosthetics that i had already created and um after they dried i took the same paint palette and painted the lips and the teeth and the gums to try to get it as, as realistic to the movie as I remember. Um, if you see me kind of looking to the left and the right, I had some pictures up that I was using as like a reference for Pennywise's strangely terrifying mouth. 
Um, so yes, you can see the bottom jaw I painted the inside of where the gums were. The teeth are very almost cartoon-like. Those are like pieces of paper that I covered in Elmer's food glue to get them a little stiff. And I glued them in, let that set overnight. Um, so then after that, kind of went in with the same paint, the same palette of her makeup murder, but this time I was using the color Kitchen. It's like a yellow color, and also the color Den, which is orange, like a bright orange. Um, I did it specifically right here because this is where the top teeth would end, which, if you stand back from it, would be the beginning of like the opening of the throat. And so I'm just kind of measuring out here exactly where it's gonna go just to be sure that I made the mouth open and wide enough and there's that top prosthetic now the next time I do this I want to try to go about it a different way just because it did become a little bit difficult later as I kept moving around and things were drying up it became difficult to keep the prosthetics together they do they will get hard um, when you put new latex liquid latex on and so I got, you'll see as the video goes on, I get very stiff where I'm almost not turning my head at all because I was so terrified that the prosthetics would like crack on me and fall apart. So I'm also using my Makeup Murder Neon Poison a pigment that they had. It's a bright highlighter yellow and then also their bright orange and I'm just going back over those areas that I added the Paint Chips Palette Yellow and orange too. Um, this was going to be the area I wanted to look like a high point of brightness um, because later what we're gonna do is take some crafting lights that you could use like for bouquets of flowers in a wedding. Um, my hairdresser actually gave it to me and I'm like wow this would be brilliant. I ended up uh, putting it behind my head taping it to the sides of my neck under my prosthetic which I did off camera because I had to kind of fight with it a little bit and then I laid that down with a little bit of liquid latex so that it would stick and then these yellow points just kind of add to the yellow glow that comes from the lights once they are attached to the neck so this is just me just adding some points of brightness in these areas there will be teeth but I just wanted there to be like little specks of like reflection of light because the dead lights are going to go right under the chin in the middle of my throat area if you've watched the movie I'm sure you know exactly what I'm referencing and how terrifying that moment is I just kind of blended out a little bit because I didn't want it to be too precise um, I wanted it to be more on the optical illusion side and then now I'm going to attach this prosthetic to my face with some liquid latex and some, some prayer. <laughs> I tried to use the uh, usual adhesive, I think it's called Spear Gum. Um, I tried to use that first and it wouldn't stick. I think maybe it was too thick. Um, in case you want to know what I make my prosthetics out of, it's literally just liquid latex on top of stretched out cotton balls in the shape that I needed it to go in. And um, I just kept adding layers of liquid latex to build it up and then slowly started adding the paper teeth in the layers as it was drying. So that's why it took so long the day before to make the prosthetic because as it was drying, I just kept coming back, adding another layer of latex, another layer of teeth, and then repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. And so we're attaching the bottom area as well with a little latex and this became a little difficult I had to do a lot of almost like paper mache I guess you could say to get it to stick um, it didn't help that I am bountifully blessed in the chesticle area because that was actually adding to difficulty um, as I moved around And so here I'm just, uh, I had already put my lights on off camera, 
so I'm just kind of making sure they are secure but then part of my prosthetics that were coming up I have to make sure I add some liquid latex and then I was just kind of pressing that down so see you can see me testing out the lights here I just wanted to make sure they still work I just added just a, a smidgen of liquid latex over that now I know it seems a little redundant because I just painted this area but honestly it didn't even bother the paint at all um once the latex dried it dried like a, a yellowish clear color and uh you could still see the makeup right up under that and so while that was drying i wanted to give the lights time to adhere to my neck i just went on ahead and started to take my white cream paint from my wet and wild palette and just finish out the rest of the white face and get the cheeks and the prosthetic white Get that classic Pennywise look going. Now, I, the one thing, it was a lot cheaper to do it this way with the Wet n Wild grease paint palette. And this is great if you're just trying to do just a normal Halloween party. Uh, some, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say where to work for, you know, the office Halloween party. They might not let you in the building, but it is good for that. Now, if you're doing like some up close and personal like photography, fair warning that the makeup, the grease makeup will look a little streaky. Um, it'll have like cracks in it after a while. It spreads very well from the Wet n Wild palette, but as it dries, it starts to crease. And so you see me here taking that mattifying powder and even a little bit of the eyeshadow from the paint tip palette. Um, I was taking both of those in bath. I was just trying to add in to the crack that was coming up. But either way, take my I took my Revlon um, all day, 24 hour wear. I think it's 12 hour wear. It's like a bright crimson long wear cream lipstick which was perfect um i had a lot of lipsticks but to me this was the closest so i did use it for my nose i used it for the lines that come up from my cheeks to my eyes and then i decided to color the rest of pennywise's lips in around the prosthetic now the beauty of this look is that it does not have to be perfect if you've seen this movie I mean, his face falls apart when he does this, um, but it's like a chaotic moment. So there's the beauty of this look is that other than the lines of his face and the white paint, you don't have to get everything like 100% perfect. Um, and these are Q-tips, believe it or not. They are specifically makeup Q-tips. <laughs> I'm just being goofy. They're specifically makeup applicator Q-tips and I covered them in Elmer's School Glue so that when they harden, they would have a little shine to them. Those will be the teeth. So I'm just coming back in with that Makeup Murder palette. I'm kind of now going back and forth between the yellow in the paint chips palette, which again is the color Kitchen and the color Den and then also the Neon Pigment and the bright orange and the bright yellow and I just heavily patted that into the grease paint you see it gives a very bright glow those neon pigments are amazing they're insanely bright um, you should go check them out on Instagram makeup murder they have amazing products and so one by one I'm just dipping the end the rounded end of the q-tip because I cut them all off of the sticks so I'm just one by one placing them with a little bit of latex or a little bit of glue I think I started with latex but I've noticed that Elmer's school glue actually works better so just dipping that in there and very patiently over the course of about an hour or so getting very hot while doing so just piece by piece placing teeth and as you can see the build up it came out pretty good And this is me. I was actually explaining to my son because he wanted to know what was going on. 
but this is the picture that I referenced as far as like how to place the teeth. I saw that they weren't in any particular formation. It's just very terrifying. So it all works out. Let me turn the lights on. I was getting as close to these pictures as I possibly could without peeling my own face back like he does. And so now I'm just coming in with that same Makeup Murder Paint Chips palette. And I'm using the color Basement to add that dark shading around the eyes. It gives a bit of a cavernous look. And um, he doesn't look like that all the time. He really only looks like that when he's in this, I call final form. Uh, Pennywise in his final form, Dead Light form. And so I'm just re-adding a lot of mattifying powder, just redefining that white paint. Um, that red sometimes will smear. It was hard to find a red product to use that didn't smear. Um, I've dumped it a bunch of times. As you can see, I'm blind as a bat. So I had to keep putting my glasses on. And so I'm just going back over some of the highlighted areas. And I'm getting this wig ready, which I fought with for 20 minutes. Oh my God, my hair did not want to lay down. <laughs> But after fighting with it, I finally got it on. I will admit, it does make me look very Ronald McDonald-ish after you do that. But, I digress. So I'll just a little bit more of touch-ups here and there. And yeah, it looks like I pretty much got everything down. I was just waiting on the teeth to dry. Some of them fell to the side. But I'm in front of a very fast-moving fan at the moment, so you might have to hear some feedback from that. Now I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the teeth, give them a little shine and varnish. Okay guys, okay guys, and here is the finished product, contacts and all. I have a little bit of smudging with the red, but honestly, it just adds to the craziness of the look. Um, some of my, all my teeth are intact, but some of my prosthetics are starting to peel. I've actually been at this for about six or seven hours. <laughs> the short haircut red wig made it look a little Ronald McDonald-ish, but still scary, and I kind of like it, so. And then as a finishing touch, we get to my battery pack on the back, the deadlights. The coup de grace to the entire look, ladies and gentlemen. The deadlights. I have seen about a thousand and one Pennywise's and I've done Pennywise myself. I made my son Pennywise a couple of uh, years ago. Um, but I got this idea. Um, I'll link a couple of YouTubers below. One person did a giant demon mouth where the inspiration for this prosthetic came from. Now, as you can see, some of my prosthetic is starting to lift. So the next time I do this, I'll handle this part a different way. So even there are some mistakes, I still am very, very, very satisfied with how this came out. Um, and yeah, on to the slow montage. <laughs> So I'm gonna get some uh, some dark pictures of this. This look is really great for pictures, or if you're going to a party. Um, I actually have an area right here where um, I want to go out like this for Halloween, so I want to make sure I can have a little drink or two. Just as long as you bring a straw, you should be good. You should be a okay. 
but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, and come back for more craziness. And uh, yeah, for this to only be, I'm gonna say, my fifth or sixth, fifth, either five or sixth look that I've ever done, I'm actually very impressed with this. Uh, the prosthetics itself, I took about my time on. Sunday and put about uh, 10 or 12 hours into creating those pieces. Let them dry overnight. I'll link all the tools that I use down below. I'll put pictures in as well at the end of the video so you know what to get. And yeah, uh, I like it. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you love the video. Come back for more. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. Yeah, hustle anyway, hustle team. I'm out this piece. See ya.